Hey guys, Jason Riker, Crazy Bless Fishing. Today we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna try and stay away from the jig jerk bait bite as much as we can. I mean, it's just so much fun that it's kind of hard to, but the fact is we're gonna try something new today. Um, not new, but we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna focus a little bit more on fishing a jig. So that's that jig that you saw me break the line on yesterday. And then we're also gonna try a chatterbait and throw that out there some this morning and see what we get. We may change up the color on the chatterbait, but we're gonna try some chatterbait fishing and some jig fishing. Now I'm not saying I'm not going to throw a jerkbait, but I'm gonna try and not throw it all day. Even though it did produce some pretty nice fish yesterday and a lot of them. So they were, that's, there was a lot of small fish in there, but it was fun catching fish consistently as to where we were coming out, you know, a couple of weeks ago and really working for some bites. Now you come out and just can slap them all day long. They may not be any size, but it's still fun to be able to get on a good bite again. So today we're going to go for more size and probably fewer fish, but we're going to go for more quality fish. Anyways, guys, let's go fishing. I know what I said, but I just can't keep from throwing that stupid jerk bait, guys. I mean, that's darn good fish. Ugh. But I am throwing a different one. All gold. Yeah. all gold i'll have to get the it's still a vision 110 but it's the standard vision 110 as you can see oh come on standard vision 110 not the deep runner not the plus one so anyways that was my first cast with that one and he ate it hadn't had any luck this morning with anything else Not as big a fish, but boy, they're just flat eating that thing. Eh, not a big crappie, but a crappie. We'll pair him up with the one we caught yesterday. He ain't a very big one, but we'll keep him. He'll measure. It's a Mega Bass 110 Kinkiro. Can you guys see that there? All uh, right. 
there I think you can see it anyways I'll type it in but um yeah that thing is just doing the trick it's super bright gold on the sides black speckles on the top and a bright orange bottom boy they are just tearing that thing up today so guys just to let you know I typed it in the description last night. I'm gonna be doing a Facebook page, Crazy Bless Fishing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload why I'm on the water, what I'm using that day and what's actually working. So then you guys can check it live time out on the water the day of that I'm fishing. So if you'd like that, let's try that out and see how that works. But you're gonna to have to like the page or follow, I don't know what you're doing. You on, Facebook. I'm not a Facebook guy, but I went ahead and started a crazy blessed fishing Facebook page so that I can give live updates while I'm on the water and upload them right away. That way, if you guys are having trouble throughout the day, you can check that and I'll try and uplink to it, you know, every couple hours or so. Anyway. Look how he is. Man, they're just extremely fat today. Holy smokes. Wow. I've heard of these, these guys, but I've never actually seen one. Um, if you guys follow Tactical Bass and Matt, uh, Matt Allen will talk about it, about the wild or the color. And I was thinking about that gold this morning, so I put on the clown color, deep diver. So Vision 110 plus one, full size. And that was the first cast on that thing, and he flat ate it. Now, I've never had one that would eat wild colors a day, but this may be it. We'll see. Hey guys, Jason Riker, Crazy Blessed Fishing. So this morning whenever I started out, I really didn't have an intention of throwing a jerk bait. I had a couple on the deck, but I intended on throwing a jig and a jackhammer or bladed jig, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I was planning on doing that and I did it just a little bit. Had a blooper that I didn't even put in the video. Um, 
actually was fishing that bladed jig and hit the thumb on my bait caster and went to pop it up and it just spooled up oh, it was a mess so just started out with some errors anyways picked up a couldn't get a bite tried and tried and tried about an hour went by so i picked up a jerk bait and started off with a tennessee shad like i normally do vision 110 junior plus one and fish about 30 40 minutes like that and nothing and i'm like man this is bad because i know the fish are biting right the fish are on i picked up a new color a while back so i just tied it on just to see just for giggles i also hang on let me back up so first i went to a Caught, did pretty good on this a while back out on Table Rock last year. That is a World Diver by Shimano. And I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the little shimmer deal in there that shimmers back and forth even after it stops. So I fished that for a minute and nothing. But they were looking at it. So then threw a clear laker for a little bit. Thought maybe there was too much flash and too shiny. So I threw that Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior Plus One in a clear laker. Nothing. So I got thinking about it. I thought, huh, maybe, just maybe, I'll go ahead and try something a little shinier. And you know, that Vision, that uh, Vision 110 Junior Plus One Tennessee Shad has gold on the sides. Well, I'd pick this up. A while back and you can see that there that is the 110 vision 110 and I forgot the color but I'll link to it in the description anyways guys first cast look at how bright orange that belly is gold on the sides black on the top first cast bang and you saw that first one was a pretty good fish had two pretty good fish today four that would have weighed in on a tournament so i mean it, it, it that thing got a whole bag of fish today it was kind of crazy um then you saw later on in the video i follow um tactical bassin matt allen tim little pretty good guys really honest they're where i got the idea of doing the channel that i'm doing is Full disclosure, throw it out there, show people how you're fishing and what you're fishing with, and it's not a big secret, and get as many people catching fish and having fun as I can. So after watching those guys, they said sometimes you'll be on a jerkbait bite and it'll be fired up, and it'll be the wild colors that get them. Well, I've never had a chance to throw a clown color because I just never thought it was that good of a bite. Today I did after using that thing. So that's the clown in a vision 110 plus one not the junior just a vision 110 plus one between that and that gold one regular vision 110 because they don't make this color in a plus one at least not that i found man guys that was the best jerk bait bite i think i've ever been on it was hard to pull off today and go to church. That was just a lot of fun. I mean, if you were around bluffs and there were trees, you were going to stick fish. It was just that simple. It was just an awesome, awesome day. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, so what I'm doing now is I'm not a Facebook guy, but I have got a page now, Crazy Blessed Fishing on Facebook. I can do short little clippets of videos while I'm out on the water and upload them. So if I get on a bite like today, my intent is to upload what's going on throughout the day. If I find a major change like that or some bite is just off the hook good, I'm going to go ahead and throw it up for you guys so you can see it real time and not have to wait for the video to come out the next day after the bite is over. So I'm going to do that to try and help out. I hope you guys will 
follow that and like it or whatever you got to do on Facebook to get the notifications whenever I post them because I think it might really help. Plus, it would be fun to get the feedback to know what you guys are catching them on at the same time and kind of get that around on that Facebook channel or Facebook page, whatever, whatever you call Facebook. Anyways, I guess I'm starting to show my age. I'm not that techie anymore. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hey, again, thanks to all the new subscribers. Absolutely great seeing a subscriber out at the boat launch yesterday. Um, I think I'm going to take that to the next level the next time I meet one of you guys out at the boat launch, I'd like to talk to you on video maybe if you're up for it and just talk about what you're going to do for that day as well and kind of start sharing that subscribe stuff around. But anyways, guys, thanks again. The likes are getting better. I really appreciate that. That's super huge. Um, look to get the 500 this week, the 500 mark and 3,000 watch hours. So anyways, guys, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate you watching and spending the time with me on the lake. Have a blessed week. We'll see you next week.